time. If you've ever experienced pain or concerning symptoms, doctors often order an MRI scan to try and figure out what's wrong. But some people who aren't experiencing any symptoms at all are now choosing to pay thousands of dollars for a scan of their entire body. Yeah, apparently it's a trend that some celebrities are getting in on and it's available to do right here in Raleigh. But the question is, is it a good idea, right? Tonight, CBS 17's Maggie Newland is digging deeper. All new at six. Rachel Johnson thought she was perfectly healthy until a routine mammogram led to a breast cancer diagnosis. When you are diagnosed with a disease that you had no signs or symptoms of, you know, your brain starts to spiral and what else could there be? And it really resonated with me that this was preventive care. Why don't we have preventive care for the rest of our body? Determined to make sure nothing else was wrong, she started searching online. What tests are available? And came across whole body screening MRI scans. I saw a lot of celebrities were having these done. Raleigh Radiology is the only one in this area that does that type of testing. We could look at your brain, your chest, your abdomen, pelvis, and then even your lower extremities. So it's basically for screening the body for any abnormality. Dr. John Bardini is a musculoskeletal radiologist and director of imaging centers at Raleigh Radiology. He says the company started offering whole body screening MRIs earlier this year. The trend has been for people to take control of their health care. People oftentimes want to know what's going on in their body. Unfortunately, some some diseases, uh, you won't have symptoms until it's too late. The screenings are not covered by insurance, and the price tag for the whole body scan is nearly $3,000. For about $2,000, you can scan just the head and torso, and the torso alone runs $1,500. The price tag's pretty high. What went through your mind when you saw it? Ouch. Um, you know, and I knew that insurance wasn't going to touch it, right? At that moment, um, it, for my husband and I, and just with everything that was going on in my, my medical, it just felt like something that was worth it at that time. But some doctors argue it's not worth it for most patients. If you're at average risk of having disease uh, for your age, there's not a lot of benefit. Dr. Mustafa Bashir is a professor of radiology with Duke Health. Average risk people just don't have that higher rate of diseases or cancers that can be picked up by a whole body MRI. So the, the main risk is that you spend your money and, um, and don't really get anything back for it. At this time, the American College of Radiology also does not recommend total body screening for patients with no clinical symptoms, risk factors, or a family history suggesting underlying disease or serious injury. There are also some secondary risks uh, related to false positive findings. So you may see a spot somewhere uh, that needs to be worked up. It needs more testing, that kind of thing. Um, and the likelihood that that will actually be uh, a problem, something that needs to be treated, uh, will be really, really low. But you'll still have to spend more money and more time and anxiety and so on uh, just dealing with, with that spot. Are you going to go through unnecessary testing? Mm -hmm. That's a really good point. And that has been the concern for years. Those things are called incidental findings. There aren't many findings where you're gonna go right to surgery or you're gonna go right to a biopsy. Dr. Bardini contends that all kinds of scans pick up unrelated findings and there are guidelines about what to do in various situations. But he's really looking for concerns that need more than just monitoring. Disease that can be caught early and treated before it becomes deadly. Have you found any concerns like cancer? We did. We found uh, a kidney cancer, renal cell carcinoma, in a woman, uh, and it was pretty early. It was a small tumor, so we did find that, and she did not have any symptoms. He says 14 or 15 patients have gotten these scans in the first six months they've been available here in the Triangle. Rachel was the first, and she says none of the findings in her scan raised concern. I wanted to know about my, my brain, my lungs, my heart, kidneys, my spleen, everything. Um, and it, it all came back great. The peace of mind wasn't just for me. It was for my 10-year-old daughter. It was for my husband. Was that peace of mind worth the $3,000? Yes. Yes. For me, it was absolutely worth it. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. Very interesting stuff. Dr. Bardini does point out that the scans are not ideal for looking at the heart and the lungs. He emphasizes that they should never replace recommended screenings like mammograms and colonoscopies.